This is the Powertech 7729 solid brass inlay set, which is used to make butterfly joints, otherwise known as bow ties, dovetails, or Nakashima joints. George Nakashima was an iconic furniture maker out of Pennsylvania who popularized these joints back in the 1950s. Strictly speaking, these joints are for aesthetic purposes, giving the appearance of bridging a crack on the surface of a table or on a chair. The idea being to enhance a natural defect in the wood surface and not hide it with what looks to be a structurally enhancing joint, but isn't. We'll talk more about this at the end of the video. By the way, you'll also need a butterfly inlay template kit, which is sold separately. But that said, you can also make your own templates. If you're going for a traditional look, you'll want to use a type of wood that's drastically different from the piece being bridged. And to further stick out, orient the grain on the butterfly joint perpendicular to the grain of the piece it's been added to. This is the Nakashima joint. Let's get started. First, we'll make the butterfly joint, and afterwards, we'll route out the mortise on the workpiece, the one with the crack that we're bridging. The Powertech Solid Brass Inlay Set comes with a guide bushing, centering pin, quarter inch spiral router bit, and most importantly, the removable bushing collar. The quarter inch router bit is long enough to make butterfly joints up to three quarters of an inch thick. Back to the removable collar. This slips onto the guide bushing to increase the bushing diameter and holds firmly in place with an embedded rubber o-ring. Here, with the collar attached, the guide bushing is prepped to route out the butterfly joints mortise. Remove the collar and the router bit now cuts closer to the edge of the template. This is how the actual butterfly joint, the insert, is cut. Okay, we'll start by making the butterfly joint, which is also known as the key. Using double-sided tape, attach the template to the piece of wood you'll be cutting the key from. Next, we install the brass guide bushing onto our plunge router. Use the centering pin to ensure the bushing is perfectly centered, then tighten the router base plate to lock it all in place. Replace the centering pin with the kit's quarter inch router bit. Using a scrap piece of wood, the same as being used to make the butterfly joint, the key, check the depth of the bit. It should cut just a little bit deeper than the depth of the wood you're cutting the key from. Since we're cutting the key first, if the collar is still attached to the guide bushing, take it off and uh, put it somewhere you won't lose it. Routing clockwise, uh, to the right, keep the router bushing tight against the side of the template as you route. This is very important. Basically, if the router bushing isn't flush with the template throughout the cut, the key will be a less than perfect fit. It'll be smaller than it should be. With the key or butterfly joint cut, next we move on to routing out the mortise on the workpiece or tabletop that's getting the decorative butterfly joint. Using double-sided tape, position the template where the joint will lie. We'll need to reset the cutting depth of the bit to make it slightly shallower than before, this time the depth of the key piece. Now we need to add the collar back onto the guide bushing. With the template secure, route out the mortise, starting with the sides and afterwards cleaning out the material in the center of the template. As a general safety rule, Never cut more than half the bit diameter in one pass. In this case, with the provided quarter inch router bit, you shouldn't route deeper than an eighth of an inch on each pass. If all went to plan, the butterfly joint that you just cut and the mortise that was just routed should be a perfect fit. If not, you can always touch up the butterfly joint with some sandpaper, if it's too large. Next, add some wood glue and press the butterfly joint into place, flush with the surface of the workpiece. Raised or a little bumpy? Again, you can always smooth things with a little sanding. Just to be clear again, these bow tie joints or butterfly or nakashima, whatever you call them, they're generally speaking decorative only. They're not structurally sound. They're more about showing the beauty and imperfection. So, if you've got like a big split down the center of a piece of wood that you want to use as a tabletop, these joints will not be thick enough to structurally hold the piece together in a sound manner. They are, however, a great way to cover knots in the wood, and they're very pretty. Powertech has many different sizes of butterfly templates to choose from, all use the same basic routing procedure we've just demonstrated here, and of course, sold separately. Thank you for watching. We really hope this helps in your next project. And as always, work safe, folks.